All right, so as you can see, we have two slices of bread, which means this next card trick is a sandwich trick. We'll leave these slices over here. Uh, Lee, can you go ahead and say stop whatever you like? Stop. Right there, have a look at that card. That'll be your card, I need you to remember that. And we'll leave that card somewhere in the middle. Now, this is where we're gonna use uh, one of the slices of bread. And we're gonna actually have that slice uh, disappear. Watch closely as gone somewhere into the deck. Uh, we'll need the second slice as well. We're gonna have that disappear somewhere in the deck. Just watch it, keep your eye on that slice. And gone, hopefully, the two pieces of bread have found their main ingredient, your card, the seven times. Delicious. Yo, what's up, uh, people? Today, as you know, we're announcing the winner of the contest, but not only that, we got a few interesting uh, decks of cards to review. Really interesting decks of cards, actually. Really interesting. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Before we get into anything, I will let you know the winners are listed down below. So we've chosen 10 people to take home a $100 gift certificate, whether that's to Art of Play or Puzzle Master. Your name should be in the description and you have received an email if you did win, if you are watching this and received no email. Unfortunately, you didn't win this time, but stay tuned because there will be more contests, uh, maybe even bigger contests on this channel soon to come. By the way, thank you to everybody who subscribed to me over on Twitch. I appreciate it. We're having lots of fun streaming over there. All right, guys, enough of that. Let's get into uh, today's video. We're looking at three, I'm not gonna say like my top three decks, but the three decks that I found the most interesting in, in recent memory, these were sent to me by either Art of Play or uh, my friend Piff, a uh, Piff the Magic Dragon. Uh, you may know his brother, uh, Dave. I'll stick to I'll stick to making YouTube videos. So without further ado, let's get into checking out these decks and uh, find out a little bit more about what, what lies inside. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the Art and Machine deck. This is the Art of Machine deck by Ryan Hewlett. Each suit in the deck focuses on one of these four moments of the new typography of the Bauhaus era, the mid-century book cover design, the late century 20th, the late 20th century silkscreen poster aesthetic, and the contemporary art and design in the age of mobile. That is kind of what this whole deck uh, focuses on. It's uh, basically a celebration of uh, typography and art, which is really cool and simplistic. So the faces of the cards are super creative and very individual, which doesn't make this ideal for performing magic because it is a bit confusing when staring at a card. Uh, however, this is a beautiful deck to just have laying around the house. I love the minimalistic back design. I know it's just an X with like some circles on it, but it looks really dope and it fits with that orange color, which is really cool. The, the cards themselves are quite soft and very, very fun to handle. I've been holding these cards for probably about three, four days and just literally fidgeting around with them and they still hold up. They feel really, really nice. They're not too stiff, so they're perfect for like pharaohs uh, and springs and that type of thing. The tuck case design is really, really cool, really abstract. I like it a lot. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions. I posted a photo of this on Instagram. A lot of people asked me what this deck was. Now you know, it's the Art and Machine deck. I'll leave the link below. Next up, we have uh, a new knock deck. A little bit refreshing in the knock world, if you're not familiar, knock was like just one base color, which is cool, which is really nice. Uh, makes for a very simplistic design, but they've added something really cool to this. And we'll get to that in a second. Let's look at the tuck case. This tuck case is uh, the first time I've ever seen a tuck case like this, super unique. A perforated design on the back and the front, so the back sort of reveals the back design in a sort of gradient tone, which is really sick. Designed and produced by Art of Play in collaboration with uh, Alex Pandrea. So aside from the tuck case being super cool, modern, CNC'd, I've never seen anything like this, so I like that they're, I don't wanna say thinking outside the box, because they're literally thinking about the box. It's cool to see uh, some refreshing new developments in the world of tuck cases. We've seen a lot of different tuck cases over the year. This is one that I've never seen before and it opens up some new doors in uh, the tuck case world, which is, which is really exciting for nerds like me who collect playing cards. The cards themselves are really cool. They've got this like warm tone gradient. There's also like a greener version, which uh, like lime green and sort of gradient to yellow. This one, however, does have that like warm sunset tone which is really, really neat. It is a symmetrical back design. The faces themselves, as you can expect with uh, any knock deck are standard, which I appreciate. In this deck, you do uh, get some identical jokers, which are also very minimalistic, as well as some ad cards. The Ace of Spades features the Art of Play logo, which is also really neat and very, very simple. Uh, it's nice to see collaborations coming out like Knock and Art of Play. You have as well the Smoke and Mirrors and Anyone Worldwide collab, which is also really sick. So I really appreciate 
appreciate that. More and more we're, we're seeing um, playing cards be featured kind of like a sneaker brand where they collab with other brands and I love seeing that. So that is the Knock deck, which I do like. It's probably my favorite Knock deck to date. I like the other colors, but you do kind of get bored of them. This one I think stands out a little bit more. Now, finally, finally, the Piff deck. Piff the Magic Dragon you may have seen on AGT or Penn and Teller Fool Us, hilarious comedian that does magic, dresses up as a giant stupid looking dragon which is so funny. His self-deprecating and, and sort of like heckler humor has, has really thrown him to the spotlight and he's you know become very sort of famous and streamlined for not only his outfit but his tacular, his, his, his pop-up tickle trunk if you will. Uh, of magic tricks as well as his assistant Mr. Piffles who's a little chihuahua puppy dressed up as well. Uh, so he's done something really cool with a tuck case as well. He's turned it into a little mini portable tacular. So you now have his giant tacular in a deck form which I think is really smart. The back design itself looks really really good. We'll get into the extra cards and everything else that you get with this deck because there's a lot of stuff you get with this deck. Uh, but the back design is actually really really beautiful it has a simplistic back design look kind of like you would see on bicycles uh the cards themselves do come in the monica stack which thank you very much i do enjoy it although the faces of the cards are very different uh from one another um they make it a little bit hard to tell which card is which that's the only thing that uh like the like the spades are made of fire which look like this and it kind of makes it a little bit confusing comparing it to the hearts, uh, which are made of like roses, which obviously you look at them, you know that they're hearts. Spades are just a little bit eh. But aside from that, uh, the cards do handle well. They're made from USPCC and they have a one-way back design, which I found out. So if you look at the water, uh, it is a one-way back design, which you can also use to your advantage in a magic trick. But not only that, he's included a bunch of magic tricks and a bunch of magic gimmicks with this deck which is super super sick so first of all aside from the tacular you also have two extra tacular legs so you have these legs that in case the first one breaks you've got some backups which is really cool the jokers feature a five of diamonds reveal with uh, mr piffles on it so you can obviously have them choose the five of diamonds lose it to the deck and turn the joker into this card which then shows them uh, what their card is. Also, which uh, probably my favorite trick, you have a sandwich trick uh, in this deck. So basically two slices of bread. You can also add some cheese and ham into it if you like, which is really funny. I like this because there's a lot of room to play for your own uh, sort of creativity. If you want to create your own trick, you can use these in any which way you want, but they're really cool. Uh, Piff actually teaches all these tricks, uh, just a really basic trick. Uh, for each of these gimmicks on his website, uh, which you guys could even check out without buying the deck, which is really cool. So you get some freebie tutorials there. But not only that, if you buy the, the deck, you also get another trick incorporated with uh, Mr. Piffles being shot out of a cannon into the deck. A classic and magic, but actually really funny uh, to do and kind of silly, which, uh, which really represents uh, his character. All right, Lee, for my next trick, I need you to say stop whenever you're gonna choose a card. Stop. Right there. Have a look at this card. It's okay if I see it actually. It's the uh, Eight of Hearts. All right, we'll leave that actually in the middle somewhere. And for this trick, we're gonna use uh, my, my lovely assistant for the day, Mr. Piffles. And as you can see, <laughs> he's in a bit of a precarious position, Mr. Piffles. He's sitting inside of a cannon, uh, but not for long, because if you just wave your hand over Mr. Piffles, he gets shot out of the cannon, uh, and he gets shot actually somewhere into the deck. Let's see if we can find him here somewhere. Mr. Piffles, where are you at? Oh. There he is, uh, Mr. Piffles, uh, who shot himself into your card, the Eight of Hearts. All in all, he put a lot of work into this deck, not only from the back and the face design, everything is custom, uh, really, really well done, and I think it's a great piece of uh, playing card collection for any collector out there, but not only that, if you're a magician and you want to have some fun and be a little goofy, this is also something that you can uh, walk around with. Ladies and gents, that concludes today's playing card review. We're looking at three really unique decks of cards that have come out recently. Uh, by the way, if you guys want me to review any other unique decks or decks that you think I might like, uh, whether they're on Kickstarter or whether they've been out for 10 years, uh, drop a comment below. Let me know maybe your top three decks that you would like to see reviewed on this channel and I'll do my best to get to those. That being said, guys, smash like, uh, <laughs> subscribe, hit the bell and all that stuff and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.